Hey, welcome home to Duty's Daggers. We got a package here, sent to me from a friend. And uh, we got some very, very cool gifts inside. Look, he's right beside me whining. So I'm gonna let him out the door. This is a package from my good buddy, Michael Richter from Richter Knives. Very cool guy um, who is uh, uh, teaching me a lot about uh, working with leather and a lot about the traditional knife world. And um, he sent me something very special here. So let's get into it. Oops. Two items. Let's open this one first. Uh, what knife am I opening this with? Hang on. We'll use this. This is, I believe, a stamp. Yes. Awesome. Oh, this is what you're supposed to use with the stamps. Okay. <laughs> Cool, uh, and it's, it's an American flag stamp. Um, I wanted a, a way to, to kind of uh, uh, make known on my slips that they are made in America, although it's uh, probably obvious for most people you know, they're buying it from me. Um, but if someone doesn't know that I made the slip and they see there's a flag on it or it says made in USA, uh, then you know. So that's very cool. And I have, a, I have like four stamps now, and what I've been doing is just putting bolts in the tops of these because I didn't know what tool that you needed for to put in there. But uh, cool, now I have one, and I can use this with all my stamps. Hell yeah. Thanks, man. Now what we have next here is a slip, and it's a very special slip. And you'll see why in a second here. I cannot wait to see this, dude. <laughs> All right, so hold on, hold on. Before I open this, before I do this, let's talk about the knife that, uh, that's going in this slip. And that is the GEC Yellow Rose. Look at that thing. The most beautiful GEC I have ever seen. Um, I waited for a long time to be able to get one of these and uh, finally did. Since I... The first laid eyes on it, I knew I needed to have one. It's just absolutely beautiful. Got the rose shield there. Just unbelievable polish on everything. It's a Northfield, an XL'd, 1095 carbon steel, made in 2023. It's just absolutely beautiful. And I wanted to make sure I had a very special slip to go with it. Uh, now, I thought about making one myself, but I knew... I wouldn't do as good a job as Michael Richter would do. And uh, before I had a chance to ask him, he actually offered to make it for me. It worked out really well because uh, I had been planning on ask, asking him about to, uh, to do it for me. Um, so let's see what slip he made for the yellow rose. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Gosh. With the Texas on the back. Dude. I forgot to ask him how he got this texture. Gosh. With the rose stamp, the yellow thread. And look at this, these lines do the same thing as the bolster does. He matched the lines on the bolster. Look at that. Is that not the most badass slip you have ever seen? Oh, let's put it in. Which way do I want to put it in there? We'll try both ways. Oh, gosh, that fits perfect. Oh my gosh. Man, he does his edges so nice. I don't know, they're like smoother than mine. 
don't know how he does that. <laughs> how am I going to get this out of here? There we go. I'm wondering if I want to put it in that way or this way. Let me try this way. That's a little tighter that way. Gosh, I love it. His slips just feel different than mine. I'm not sure exactly what it is. This will break in and become easier to get out. Um, I think it probably just comes down to like the, the person that's making it. Everyone has their own like... Everyone puts their own kind of touch on things, you know? Um, I think I'm going to keep it this way. I actually usually like to go um, tip up. And the reason for that is when, you know, when, it, when the slip's in my pocket, um, it's kind of uh, protected. Um, if it's up like this, then any gunk that happens to fall in my pocket can get all in the pivot there. So usually I like to keep them up in this way. Uh, in the slips. And I think most of my knives are that way. I think they are almost all like that. Yeah. So this is how it's going to go. It's going to go in like this. Hell yeah. I've been kind of avoiding carrying it because I wanted to wait until I had, you know, the perfect slip for it. But now, now I'm going to start carrying it. But it's never going to be a real hard user. It's always going to be a little bit babied, you know? But, uh, yeah. Really big thanks to uh, Michael for doing this for me. He did a really nice job. I can't wait to see how this leather uh, patinas and changes over time. I love that squeak. Oh, it's so good. Awesome. Well, there you go, folks. If you want to slip like this or something similar, you know where to go. Richter Knives on Instagram. Hell yeah. Thank you, buddy. Much appreciated. That's it, folks. Please like the video before you leave. I'd appreciate it. And I'll see you soon.